congratulations into the third round for Thank the you. fifth straight year yeah. here at Roland Garros. <laughs> you know, usual business for you. <laughs> How would you assess your performance today? Uh, I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, great two first sets. And then, uh, you know, that's the thing with best of fives. I mean, um, you're down two sets to love and you can start sort of firing uh, a little bit more and lose. And I think that's what my opponent did. Uh, he played really aggressive, uh, changed a little bit uh, the, the play style, which was, you know, tough for me to adjust to. But uh, I got it done in the, four, in the fourth set, luckily, and i um, very happy to be through. It was uh, getting pretty tough out there physically as well and uh, happy, happy to be uh, through and not having to play a fifth set. Kaz, you, you said something interesting in Rome um, that you know, you, sometimes you get a little bit complacent on the court, and then, you know, the best players in the world, it's, it's hyper-aggressive these days, so mm. you want to make sure you're focused on staying aggressive. Is that is that a bit of a challenging mindset at times? Yeah, I mean, the, the, the good thing about playing best of five is that you know you'll have time, so it's sort of... Um... In a way, it's easier to stay calm because you know, like, margins of error are a little bit bigger because even though you lose the first set, you can still come back, you still have time. While in a best of three set match, if you lose the first set, you, you'll feel nervous every time you serve because you know that, you know, if, if the opponent breaks me here, it can be the match over if he serves well. So it's a little easier to stay calm in best of five sets and uh, you're not maybe as nervous if you were down uh, one set to love but um, yeah the, the the goal is to stay aggressive I mean you see these new young players coming up uh, not coming up they're already at the top but like Alcaraz Runa, Sinner, you know, they, they play so aggressive. They rip the ball from the forehand and the backhand and they come to the net, they hit beautiful drop shots. So just trying to keep up with them and uh, trying to stay aggressive myself, that's the goal. Well, when you're crushing that forehand, it's a, it's a beautiful thing to watch. <laughs> um, so, Casper, I gotta ask you, listen, uh, my, father, my father obviously played and he used to say, uh, watching is much tougher than actually playing. Yeah. So, so my question is, when you're playing yeah. and you know you get any shots of your pops, he he looks completely stone faced and chilled yeah. and relaxed. I want to know, is the man really like that, or is he just kind of <laughs> melting inside? I think he's uh, nervous on the inside, uh, for sure. I mean, it's I I can feel that myself. Watching is much tougher than playing yourself uh, because. Watching, you have sort of no control at all. While you, if you play, you have some sort of control of what choices you do, what kind of shots you hit. So uh, it's a little bit more in your hands. So, uh, you know, in my childhood, watching some of the Grand Slam finals and my childhood sort of idol was, was Rafa and I always cheer for him in the finals. So I was really nervous at times when it was like in the fifth set maybe I, and I can rem still remember how nervous I was and hoping he, well, he would win. But uh, playing yourself is a little more calm actually. Hmm. Interesting. Playing easier than watching because yeah. you can't control if, if right. you're watching. Yeah, you can I control know. it. No, if you really cheer for someone and watching a match, it's it's tougher because you can't really control what they do. While if you play yourself, you have some sort of an idea and you know tactics behind your shots. Yeah. Right. Uh, when you were in Italy, you, you also got to play some golf with the European Ryder Cup captain, a good friend of mine, Luke Donald. Yeah. You and Taylor Fritz hit some balls with him. He he said you were really good. Oh, he he loves the fact that you have a separate Instagram account yeah, for yeah, golf. Yeah, yeah. What, what was it like to, to play with Luke and, and it was, learn from him? It was fun. I mean, uh, he came uh, came up to us on the range, gave us some tips, more tips to Taylor, I think. You know, uh, it's tough to... It's uh, tough to explain to me, like, how... Um, how much into golf I am. I'm, I'm watching, you know, constantly as much as I can. Uh, only issue is that when we're in Europe, it gets like really late sometimes. So I have to control myself and stop at the right time. Otherwise, I would be up to like 12 and 1 a.m. watching the finish. So uh, another big tournament coming up this weekend at Murphy Village, the Memorial. So uh, it's uh, going to be great fun and was great to play sort of with and in front of Luke. We played a couple of holes and uh, it was uh, like a preview for, for Ryder Cup this year. You know, I was representing Europe, Taylor was representing the US and uh, we had a small match. Yeah, who won? You'll have to wait and see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I tried, I tried <laughs> to get it out of him <laughs> last time. He wouldn't tell us. Well, yeah. in Rome as well. Luke told me that you're better, so I'm just going to leave that there. <laughs> That's nice. That's nice well, to listen, hear. We, we, we talk about your golf game all the time. <laughs> what a, can, can you point out any similarities between, between your golf game and your tennis game? Um, not really. I think I play more conservatively uh, tennis, honestly, like uh, on the golf course. You go for it. I, I go, go for, for it. it, yeah. <laughs> Any par five, it doesn't matter if it's water or... We like it! Uh, ...or whatever, I always go for it in two, and um, that's the... that's the... Um, that's a 
problem in a way because <laughs> I don't play smart enough. So the mistakes are too big. Like I can do anything from a birdie to like a quadruple on any given hole because like I go for I go for the pin always. I go for the green always in on a par five, and that can cost me uh, dearly sometimes. We, we got ten cup over here. <laughs> yeah. We love it. Happy so, Gilmore. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's uh, but yeah, it's uh, I play as much as I can in Europe in the spring as as the in the summer it's tougher because. Whenever we're in the States, uh, you have golf clubs everywhere, I mean, in, or a good golf course anywhere you go, any state, any tournament. So I bring my own clubs, but here in Europe, you know, the good courses are about an hour outside the city. It's an hour each way, so two hours in a car, and then takes up the whole day. So it's a little bit more difficult in Europe, unfortunately. All right, well, we'll keep the, uh, the focus on tennis for yeah. the rest of these two <laughs> weeks. Congratulations into the third round Thank once you. again. Best of luck going forward. Thanks, guys. Thank you.